of all, I've never done this before. You know, normally if you say to me Grammys and Oscars, I know what I'm talking about. When you start seeing Sundance, this is uncharted territory. But what a way to come in and uh, thrilled. When we did We Are the World, it wasn't that you were a singer. You had to be a stylist. One half of a line is all they had. And so when you open your mouth, that's Springsteen. You open your mouth, that's Tina Turner. That's Bob Dylan. You know, that's Stevie Wonder. It's, it's, it comes down to do you have that identifying voice? I mean, it's such an honor. I turned 40 this year to think Sundance has, is the same age as me, but I've grown up, you know, adoring Sundance as a festival, as an audience goer, looking at the sort of arc of the films that they've presented, and us being just a small part of that means so much, and we are so grateful to be part of the 40th edition. I mean, Julia has had six projects here, so she can but talk you know more what? about but it. But this one is so special. Like, it's just, it's our second film together. It's the first time I've been at Sundance since the pandemic. Um, and 40 years of storytelling, like, think how much, like, this festival has changed, you know, the landscape. It's, it's just amazing. So, we're, yeah, we're so happy to be part of it and so grateful for Kim and Eugene and, you know, everyone that reacted, you know, and, and loved our film. So, yeah, we're happy. Long, no. Count again, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Three more. Perfect. One more look here, please. Straight ahead. One, two, and three.